You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't. Hi, I'm CJ number three from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and I just wanted to wish my mom a happy Mother's Day. And I want to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day too. Hearts in the air, right? Thanks. To all the moms. So today I am actually going to teach you the hairstyle waterfall twist into a mermaid braid. So we've already demoed the waterfall twist, so I'm, I have this side done on the left, and I'm gonna show quickly the one on the right. We're gonna fast forward through it so I can show you how to put it into a mermaid braid. And if you want to see how to do an actual waterfall twist, you can check out the video. I'll put a link right here, and you can go to that and watch the tutorial for that. So we've started by parting our hair in the middle, and I've already done this side on the left, the waterfall twist, and now I'll show you very quickly the one on the right. Okay, so now I've completed the waterfall twist on the right side as well, and I'm gonna just take the two little twists I have from that she's holding. She's got the other one. We're gonna bring them around to the back. Comb these pieces down again. Okay, now we're gonna create a braid out of these two twists. So what we wanna do is take like a half a piece here, and then a half of a piece on this side and then combine the two pieces in the middle to create the third strand. So we've now basically just created three strands, one, two, and three, and we're gonna begin a normal braid out of that. Make sure you get your waterfall strands down. Okay, now once you've done one entire stitch of a regular braid, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna pick up this little piece of the waterfall, the fall through piece. We're gonna pick that up and add that in to the left side. And now we're gonna pick up the right side, the hair that falls through, and add that in as well. And we're gonna do one complete stitch. So adding no hair. Now we're gonna go back to the left and add in another strand into our regular braid. Add in the strand on the right. And just separate it out if you get any mixed up. And then complete a stitch. Don't worry if it looks loose right now. That's kind of how we want it to look, and I'll show you why. You can see I'm pulling the hair just slightly off of her head as I'm going. So I'm braiding it in. And that, I'll show you, it, I'll explain it at the end. So right now it's gonna look kind of strange, just because we're kind of pulling them tight, but they're on a weird diagonal. No, don't worry. So the only trick to the waterfall twist is just making sure that you try to end up with the same number of strands on either side of the head. We're gonna do, I think we have two more on each side. Keep pulling. And of course this will depend and vary slightly depending on the length of your own hair. If you have shorter hair, you're not gonna get as many stitches out of it. That's fine. We're not adding in our last piece and you can see it kind of looks strange right now. And add in our last one on this side. And then we're just gonna complete it into a regular braid all the way to the end of the hair. Now what happens is when I release this, cause you can see they're pulled pretty tight right now. I'm gonna secure it with an elastic. And then I'm gonna release it. What happens is that loosens all of that hair and allows it to just kind of float and hang much softer and much prettier, very, very soft, romantic look to the waterfall braid. And anytime you're bringing stranding in like this where there's space in between, you're pulling from the sides is what is typically called a mermaid braid. Now, if you wanna add something fun, you can put a bow on the end or even a little ribbon into the end of the hair, or you can just leave it like it is. If you prefer, it's up to you entirely. I think just a little purple bow with her little turquoise shirt, it's adorable because it has such a spring feel to it and you get perfection. I will spin her around so you can see the finished product. It's really lovely, I love this one. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, it's at Cute Girls Hairstyles. We post lots of really fun pictures of hairstyles and also behind the scenes for lots of our family events. And we will see you guys next week, bye! Bye!